So, God of very good evening. I would like to welcome you for the interview session of today's. It will be not a regular mock interview, but rather we are here to listen to your uh, journey, your hook th journey throughout from getting rejected from a complete different career and now coming to Merchant Navy. So, God of, let's start with the introduction from your side. Like, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for this warm welcome and a very good evening to you, ma'am and uh, okay like let me introduce myself as you know my name is Gaurav Dattya I'm from Boranagor Kolkata itself I have completed my class 10 with 95 percent marks and class 12 in PCM with 93 percent marks in the year of 2018 and 2020 respectively from West Bengal board talking about my family uh, I belong from a very nuclear family my father runs a grocery store and my mother is a homemaker uh, apart from studies in my free time, I like to listen to Indian classical instruments and uh, mostly Sarod and uh, cycling with my friends. So you can say that those are my hobbies. So yeah, that is all about myself. Okay, God of uh, my first question to you will be since there was a there's a huge gap, not huge, but still there's a good amount of gap between the year you have passed your HS and the year you have qualified for a company at the year you came into Merchant Navy. What, what is the re reason behind this one? Uh, actually, ma'am, from 2020 to 2023, I was pursuing BBA honors in finance major from Scottish Church College, Kolkata, that comes under Calcutta University. And after that, I got placement from our college itself. And I was serving as an advisor in Motila Oswal Financial Services. and. Uh, from there on to here on, I have shifted my career and uh, due to several reasons. And uh, yeah, this is how I. So the journey from uh, advi uh, advisor to a seafarer. It sounds quite interesting. But I am sure that uh, the journey sounds very good. Like it's so interesting. But there my, my must be ups and downs. So I'd like to know about them also. What are the challenges that you have faced throughout this journey? Um, as you know that every person uh, should have their own aim or their way of living life. So whenever I have realized that I have to uh, shift my career to this Martinev industry, it was a very tough decision for me as my age is a bit high and I was already an earning person in my family. I quit my job because uh, Pursuing job and this preparation was not at all possible for me. I quit my job. I have researched about this a lot. And finally, I found IMU Met as a suitable platform to uh, get guidance from. And uh, I convinced my parents, some of my friends, close friends, and give my 100% to shift my career to this profession. It was a quite challenging uh, so to get a sponsorship. but yeah, with hard work and by God's grace, come away, uh, get the sponsorship. So now with all your hard work, all your perseverance, and obviously with the Almighty's grace, you are now here today where you actually belong to. So this uh, drastic change of career, it has obviously it has uh, affected your life. Okay, before that, we are already talking about your sponsor from a quite reputed company. But our viewers are, are still confused about the company name. So you're sponsored from which company, Gaurav? Uh, it is Anglo Eastern Shipping Management. So I got sponsorship from there for August uh, DNS batch. And uh, I'm very excited about this thing. So since people try to get into Anglo for several years and stuff, apart from having very good PCM percentage of is in spite of having the fact that okay they have passed out recently several other factors works in behind but still you could make made it up to the mark now my next question towards you will be what do you feel about yourself um like whenever i was uh taking my career at that time uh i was a bit nervous but uh, inside my mind somewhere I was very much determined that yes I have left my job I have left my uh, previous studies that I will enter into the Marshall Navy field 
this was my determination and determination with hard work uh, we know that that is only the key to success and uh, the proper guidance is also needed for that i take from imu met i got all the necessary guidance that is required for uh, anglo eastern uh, sponsorships and uh, i prepare myself in that way and i i was able to crack so that your, your journey everything. with time you made it was satisfactory like i can make it out from your words itself yeah it's it's it's, com it's it's completely satisfied okay okay so it's good to hear because many of the people they are still confused with since it's so true that there are so many companies so many institutes even whenever we are going to purchase a book we have so many different options but there it takes someone real to help us out that okay if you take this book you will be getting this sort of guidance or this will help you out so your words will be valuable for others who are going to listen to the video after words now i got a my next question towards you will be like now you got your sponsorship now you have a proper aim in your life that yes you are going to pursue with this career uh got apart from that for example uh, when when you were having this drastic change of career what was the support you you got from your relatives your from your family members from your friends or is is there any uh, support or it was a complete you know us uh, situation of taunts and stuff uh as i've already mentioned ma'am uh, whenever in that age uh, you are a working professional and you are uh, making that drastic change it is generally in the first case not acceptable to the society and i am not the exception as well i have to convince my family a lot that why i am shifting my career uh, why i am leaving my job and uh, there is always an if and buts that whether i will get selected or not but it is after all your confidence and your perseverance uh, that should be the key of your uh, motivation and with this you can motivate others as well that they will be trusting you and in your potential and uh, i think that uh, this was uh, my case as well initially my parents were not that much convinced and uh, they were not about at this field as well like much in the field uh, so i convinced them about this field their opportunities the growth promotions and the the social respects and everything uh, and after all their parents they think about our happiness they understood that yes i will be happy in that profession and uh, they gave me the opportunity to shift my career and they morally helped me to all So it's nice to hear that you got uh, your parents to help you out morally uh got of one more question i do have for you is that what is that one lesson you have learned a new lesson see we all have few lessons in our mind we have few learnings from the uh, life that we take personally but throughout your journey i would like to ask about that one lesson which you have received from life uh the one lesson still now that like i am i'm very much uh, uh confused to say about relations because uh, there are many lessons that i will be exploring in the future but in single word still now life is completely unpredictable so you should be prepared for every changes and uh, no matter what happens you should not distracted you should not be distracted from your aim and from your goal in your life and uh, life will goes on in this way okay so god of and the last but not the least question from my side will be uh, see we all get some lessons at points we you know take out our own learnings throughout the journey of our life but what is that one lesson that you have gathered throughout this journey of your from uh, shifting your career so drastically coming into a complete different thing getting sponsored by a, such a good company So, what was that one lesson you have received from life? I have many single words that life is completely unpredictable at for everyone. So, I think that uh, it is very essential to find out the motto of your life and uh, give your full energy and effort to that way. And life shows me that uh, every field has their own pros and cons, but it is you. 
who have to choose uh, the right option for yourself so this is what i have learned from my life uh, till now okay so the words are in uh, the your words completely depict that yes this person is was meant to be a seafarer you know he went to a wrong direction he not wrong i would say but he went to some other direction but he was destined to come back see uh, there is a very famous line not famous actually but i heard a line from a seafarer itself he said that uh, right now uh, the scenario is something like i'm so attached to the sea that the way uh, that the uh, salts of the seas are running through my veins okay so it uh, it just took a huge place on my mind that i cannot forget this line throughout my life and i can trust me i don't know much about the i don't know very much about the industry and stuff but i can surely tell you that after few years your words and this statement will much more sound very similar it's it is the faith that i have uh, now what of uh, let me ask you that there were so many institutes or coachings i would say that were prevalent in the market to be very honest even though some coachings which are already you know they are already into the market before imu met has arrived so what made you choose imu met uh, so there are various factors i have uh, considered before choosing imu met and the first and foremost factor is the monetary factor of course because the it is the money that we have to spend in a coaching for a, for our guidance and uh, if you search into the youtube and in the google you can see a variety of range of uh, coaching centers with different of fees and all so it is definitely relevant to cut the coat according to your pocket that is the first and foremost thing second is quality of education uh in their telegram group i have uh talked many of uh, their students uh, they told that they are completely satisfied with the guidance and uh, uh, their materials their support and everything so i found that the quality of education is given in imu net and third option is you have to explore by yourself whenever i have joined and uh, it was definitely some of some of the point in your life you have to take a risk of joining anywhere so i didn't regret at all it was an amazing experience uh, it is like my extended family there are so many things and so many people are available to support you in terms of material in terms of contents in terms of examinations and each and every doubt that are in your mind that will be solved by imum and uh, i think that uh, i i though i don't have much idea about other institutions but i don't say that it is the cheapest but it is the most cost effective and most productive institution uh, in the merchant navy industry for preparing for dns and bsc and other courses uh, in the india currently so i can say it uh, without any doubt so god of it it's actually a pleasure for me also that uh, being a part of this family this is uh, this is how you get a review this is this is what you get to hear it's not only for the sake of interview or it's not only for the sake that we have to say but to be very honest a lot of people like 95% of the person they do have the same mindset because see to be very honest we try to work like a family whenever you are into a problem whenever you face something whenever you feel something you have a lot of persons to share with you. even if the mentors are not available you have you make such good bonds with people so that you can share with them right so god of my uh, without irritating you furthermore i would just ask you that uh, there are several other candidates who are opting for the uh, of next year's february batch and also imu ct 2024 is knocking at the door your tips for those people who are going to like who want to go for anglo eastern first thing like your tips for clearing the interview second question i do have for you is that the people or the aspirants who want to join merchant navy but cannot make up their mind what do you want to say to them uh first of all replying to your first question 
so there is no as such tips to join anglo eastern or any other uh, machinery uh, company for dns or something like that it only depends on your uh, consistency hard work and determination so those three factors are very much important to join any of the companies and the rest of the path you will find by yourself you will find your own path how to get that here get that company so that is the first thing i would like to suggest you and selling your second questions uh, like this very uh, essential at uh, your at the at every point of your life to stay focused in your vision and goals and that should be matching your uh, mind and personality so if you are making your mind to come into this field uh, you should be very aware about the pros and cons about this field so make up your mind according to that set up your mind according to that and jump into that field so th i think that it is the way of how to choose anything so research yes, a lot and jump okay so the persons who are not being able to make up the mind the first thing is that we need to have a clear goal we need right. to know the pros and cons clearly once it is clear we can clearly make out uh, that yes if we are suitable for this field or the field is suitable for us or not right right okay so Gaurav, that was a very nice and interactive session from your end and i really enjoyed it okay so hope that uh, everything goes well and you also get to enjoy your onboard life very nicely okay all the struggles have come to an end uh, with a good sponsorship and a good thing so we are also hoping for the best for the future days thank you Gaurav. like thank you very much for this wonderful session and i wish a uh, faster success of imu met in future uh, thank you all have a nice day. Have a nice night whenever you are watching this. Uh, bye bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.